Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I have my September 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing. I just got back from vacation. I have like wild hair. Everything in the house is a mess, but this was delivered yesterday and I wanted to make sure to get my video up. If you're not familiar with this subscription service, it is a $30 a month subscription. You get all full size items and for this specific subscription within Ipsy, you get to customize three out of your five items, which is probably my favorite part of the service at this point. I remember being happy with my box this month. So if you guys wanna see what came in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so it's very full this month and it says, <gasps> you got this. Are they like, oh my God, it's literally just stickers that can peel off. This is very strange. Why is it just like someone sat there and put stickers on the bag? Okay, that's bizarre. Let's just get into this. Okay, so this first item is actually a item I chose, but I chose it specifically for a giveaway. I do currently have a giveaway open that is closing Saturday the, Saturday the 24th. So I'll link that video up here, but I grabbed this one for a future giveaway. It is from Ciate London and it is an eyeshadow palette. It is there bronzed eyeshadow palette. It's a nine pan palette. Actually, that's like a really nice size. So this is what the front of the palette looks like. I don't think I've ever tried eyeshadows from Ciate, but this is what the color story looks like. I thought that was a really nice palette, but it's not really something that I feel like I need. I actually just ordered an eyeshadow palette yesterday that I've been eyeing for like a year. So while this one looks pretty, I don't feel like I need to bring it into my collection. So I will gladly put this aside for a giveaway. The next product, I chose this one also, and this is from Saturday Skin, and this is their Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. I thought that sounded like a really nice product. I have tried a moisturizer from Saturday Skin before, and I liked it, but I definitely have not tried this one. So I'm wondering what the consistency, ooh, that looks fantastic. So I'm definitely excited to reach into this once I finish up a little skincare in my collection already. This next product was, I'm pretty sure chosen for me. And this is the, the Full Ritual Magnetic Balm. I remember looking this up. So does it have a shade? The shade is Second Nature. And I think it's like a, yeah, it's a lip balm. I'm actually interested in trying this one. At first I wasn't, but then when I like was reading about it and saw it was like one of these like little lip balms, I was like, oh, I might really like that. It has a very, um, it kind of smells like peaches. It's got like a peach scent to it. So I'm actually interested in this, even though it's not something I would have chosen for myself, but I'm fascinated. I also probably will add this into my lip gloss inventory because it's like more of like a lip glossy kind of looking thing than a lip balm. There are no rules. <laughs> this next product ooh, is, I chose for my mom and it's from Spongel. It's their cinnamon and honey buffer. It's got a little crush here, but I can give, oh, it smells really good. I can really smell the cinnamon. My mom really likes Spongel. It's not really my thing. So when I saw it, I was like, that's easy. I'll make sure to give that to her. And then the last thing in here is what I'm the most excited for. And it is from Natasha, Natasha Denona. And this is their Cupid Cheek Duo. I've never tried a face product from Natasha Denona, but I'm very excited to try this product out. Now, yeah, this is a powder highlight and a cream blush. I'm very excited to try out this cream blush. I did, like I said, place an order for some makeup recently. So when that comes, I'm gonna do a full video with that makeup and I can throw these two items into that video as well. But this was what I was the most excited for. I know it's an older product, but I mean, this isn't something that I would have ever like bought myself, but it's exciting to be able to try it. I don't know if this would work on me, this highlighter. It seems a little bit golden. I don't know, I'm excited for the blush at least. So, I mean, for me, I got the Natasha Denona, the Saturday Skin, and this lip balm to try out. And I get to put aside an eyeshadow palette for one of you guys and the sponge gel for my mom. So I'm very happy overall with my bag this month. The thing I'm probably the most unhappy with is this. I don't, I don't understand why there, why somebody just put little stickers on this bag. Did somebody seriously sit there and sticker everyone's bag? I don't understand. 
and yeah that is it for this video let me know what you guys got in your bags and if we're bag twins and are you happy with your bags this month and yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!